Hey, Liz, Woolworths has banned the sale in its supermarket it's a, of anything related to Australia Day. She wants to respect customers that don't feel about that day as you and I would. It doesn't respect people that actually want the uh, merch. But anyway, it's already, despite all that, celebrating the Chinese Lunar New Year, which is, starts next month. Is that hypocrisy or are we not comparing apples with apples? No, no. Well, we uh, absolutely prioritise minorities in this country when it comes to Woolworths, Andrew. I mean, on top of this, just today, 2GB had an exclusive regarding Woolworths reconciliation plan published last year, which says that they will be displaying Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander flags outside of their stores starting January 20. 25. I said it last week, the two major shareholders of Woolworths are BlackRock and Vanguard, and the, the weaponisation of the corporates in Australia is coming more and more to the fore, Andrew, as we see these massive behemoths who control so much of the world actually making their agenda known. What on earth do we need the Aboriginal and the Torres Strait Islander flag flying outside our supermarkets for? And notice their reconciliation plan says nothing about flying the Australian flag along with the other two. Yep. We'll be watching on Australia Day. I mean, it reminds me of that uh, Kipling poem about you know, people that praise every country but their own. Um, so the, this type has been with us for many, 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 many years. But uh, James, meanwhile, the Catholic Church's most senior cathedral here, St Mary's in Sydney, says it will be celebrating Australia Day at the cathedral almost non-stop on that day. Why is that the business of the church, do you think? <laughs> the fact that you ask that question, Andrew, shows just how Christian you really are without realising it. Where did you get the idea that religion shouldn't be involved in absolutely every aspect of life except that Jesus said, render to Caesar what is Caesar's, to God what is God's? Prior to him saying that, there was never any conception that religion and the state should not be absolutely intertwined, which is why secularists make me laugh when they argue about separation of church and state, not realising they're using a principle they learned from Christianity to undermine Christianity. But it's right that the church would celebrate Australia Day, firstly, because we're Australians, even though we are Christians. Secondly, because the freedoms we enjoy in this country are not accidental. They are the result of a Judeo-Christian ethic. And third, because the Bible teaches even the Jews, when they were in captivity, they were to work for the peace and the prosperity of the place in which they found themselves. And that's the responsibility of all Australians. Christians understand that very well 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 uh, well spoken I think uh, probably uh, that uh, the church has recognized in the persecution uh, of the innocent George Pell that the enemies of the church are the same ones who are the enemies of Australia Day and it's, uh, mm. <laughs> it will all link arms together or hope so thank you so much James and first and Liz Storrett